Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Nice to see you after so long, after the collaborations. Finally I'm back with another video. And I hope this time I am audible, otherwise I will break the microphone today. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. If you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, then please, please approach me through my website. The link is there in the description. Go to the link and then message me accordingly. All right. And just remember God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will be there. And today's video is not on astrology. It is not on the Gita. It is not on the Srimad Bhagavatam. It is not on the Ramayana. It is not on the Madhar. Today's video is on Pakistani Muslims. <laughs> all right. So... The video which I'll make today is lessons from uh, my Pakistani Muslim friends. All right. So most of them are, who are there from Pakistan, are, all of them are Muslims. I mean, in my friend circle here in Gottingen. So there are some amazing lessons which they have taught me. In fact, there are many lessons, but I will highlight only one lesson due to the interest of time. <laughs> okay. So I'm here in Gottingen, in Germany, and there are many uh, people from Pakistan who have come here to do their masters. And there's something very beautiful I have noticed about them. Oh yes, and before I start, this is not a video on Hindus versus Muslims or India versus Pakistan. So, if I speak good about them, don't think I am uh, anti-Hindu or I am anti-Indian or I am anti-Vedic. Okay, or don't think I am a supporter of the congress party or i am supporter of the left or right or middle center okay it has nothing to do with that okay nor am i speaking anything against the vedic culture or hinduism or whatever you call it okay so this is purely a inspirational video from the people who i know okay so please do not misdirect it please do not twist it and turn it and give your own flavor just hear what I say and just take what I want to give, alright. So, I have met many uh, friends from Pakistan here and I become very good, close with them. So, whenever I meet them, I always discuss about the Quran and the different traditions which they come from, yes. They will tell me about their different prophets. Then, so many other talks we have, you know, we talk on Suleiman, we talk on Ali, we talk about the prophet, prophet Muhammad, then so many other people we talk. And it it becomes very beautiful, it becomes very harmonious. So they ask me about my tradition, they ask me about my culture, they ask me about my religion and I ask about their tradition, their religion, their culture. Yes, and the interactions are very beautiful. There's no hatred, there's no animosity, there's no enmity in, in them. Yes, there's no thing of the past like 1965 or 1971 or the war in Kargil. But there's something very important which I want to tell here. Because, because all of them are Muslims and as we all know, Muslims have the culture of namaz, yes. So, they will offer prayers to Allah, the Supreme Almighty, the most benevolent, the most munificent, the greatest of the great God himself. And so, when they are offering prayers, that is known as namaz. I mean, technically there are different references and means, but basically that's what namaz is. Right? It's a prayer to connect to the Supreme Almighty Being. So, uh, I have seen them. They are very particular about this. Yes. And I as a so-called Hindu or as a so-called Indian or as a so-called follower of the Vedic tradition, I also derive a lot of hope and inspiration from them because I have always seen them that when it is the time for their namaz, they are like, bang on, we are out. <laughs> you can't see them. They are invisible. But when the moment I see that they are not visible, I understand they've gone for that one thing. All right. So they never, 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 never miss it. Yes. In fact, I have seen uh, so many people uh, from India here, Some so many Hindus I have seen and even some Indian Muslims I have seen. Yes. They will not uh, do their namaz properly and some Hindus I know. Yes. When there will be Navratri or something or Shivratri, they will not even fast. They will. They don't even know what the festival is. Okay. But these Muslims from Pakistan, my God, bang on. I have seen them since the last two, three years when I'm staying in Germany. I have seen them. They're very determined to follow what the Quran is saying. <clears throat> and that's beautiful to see. Yes. That even after staying so far, yes, here, 
when they don't have any uh, association practically they are still following it very diligently and one of my friend i had asked him that why do you always go to do, uh, to do this namaz what what will happen yes i mean i was just kind of as in hindi this in a tank he said that pulling is like so i was just trying to test what he says not test exactly but i was just trying to see how they respond so i had asked him that <clears throat> what happens if you miss the namaz one day yes or not the whole all the prayers but only once one prayer yes if you me miss what happens not a big deal right <laughs> i mean allah is not going to punish you oh why you didn't go for namaz yes so then this friend of mine he told me something very important it is a lesson for everybody irrespective of your religion your caste creed gender either you are a hindu or a muslim or a sikh or a christian or a zoroastrian or a male or a female old young it doesn't matter but the lesson is very important so this friend of mine he replied that namaz is an appointment which the supreme has given me <laughs> i will never miss that appointment why should i miss he said tomorrow if donald trump comes to gotting in germany will you go or not then i'm like oh my god the us president is here why will i not go yes <laughs> you can substitute donald trump for whichever uh, president or prime minister you liked yes whoever he or she is yes indira gandhi or barack obama or narendra modi or whoever that person is yes or maybe manmohan singh or atul bihari vajpayee or pv narsimha rao whoever he or she is then i said yes i will always go if donald trump comes <laughs> yes so he said if you do not if you will not miss the appointment with a mortal being who will go, who, who is going to die after some years yes how long is donald trump going to live maybe 20 30 years more he is already in 50 60 70 i don't know what's his age but he looks quite old to me <laughs> so he said if you will not miss the appointment with a person who is going to die very soon then how in the universe will i miss the appointment with the almighty yes i will never miss that and then there was another fellow who i went to meet him in the night and then suddenly disappeared so then i asked oh man where were you he said oh i went for the namaz and then i was like okay night also <laughs> and then he said yeah the night namaz is very important i said why man what happens if you miss in the night or what's so important about this namaz before you sleep he said what if tomorrow i don't open my eyes oh my god what will happen <laughs> if tomorrow i open my eyes and i am in front of allah yes and suppose it is the day of qiyamah or dissolution or destruction whatever you call it i'm not going to the details he said if tomorrow is the day of judgment as it is said in the quran when i open my eyes yes and i am in the court in front of god in front of allah and allah asked me the question yesterday night why did you not do your namaz what will i answer i was like oh my god <laughs> i was shocked to hear that i was totally taken aback i was jolted when i heard this <laughs> so from the lessons which i take from them is that never miss your spiritual commitments never ever 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 do it it doesn't matter you are in gottingen germany you are in berlin you are in pennsylvania you are in new delhi you are in places like vrindavan mathura dwarka jagannath puri or places like shrirangam or kanchipuram it doesn't matter yes the holy places have their importance but when we are staying away from the holy places we can make sure we can make sure that we do whatever we have been doing always we do not give away we do not let go of the spiritual practices which are which we are doing suppose we are chanting a mantra every morning or every evening then make sure you do it wherever you are so this is the lesson which these people have taught me very diligent very sharp very precise and the another most important thing they have taught me is they will arrange their life according to the namaz yes which means if they have to 
do this prayer the namaz suppose at 5 o'clock suppose i am giving an example i don't know what times they do it so then if there is something else which is coming during that time they will negate it yes they will deny that uh, that invitation so suppose i invite them oh at this time you come i have seen that they have denied many times not because that they don't like to come to my room but they said we will not come at this time is it okay if we come at this time and then i ask them why what happened during this time they will say oh we have to go for namaz during this time then i am like perfect <laughs> why should i be an obstruction in uh, between you and god why should i be there no, i would never like to be that so the best thing is they will arrange their life accordingly yes around the spiritual practices yes and they will always read the quran and whenever they are meeting each other they, they will discuss now that may not be true with everybody but they are very diligent and especially during the month of ramzan i have seen them very strict fasting my god very 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 strict many many hindus from india i know they don't fast many indian muslims my friends i know they don't fast but these pakistani muslims i have seen is like bang on nobody can check them nobody can challenge them yes they are very determined they are very strict about their principles and that's the best part about them yes and many of them i know like one of my friend and pakistani muslims are generally very tall dark handsome <laughs> at least most of the uh, all of the pakistani friends who i have here they are very handsome very fair and uh, they are like that pathan kind of very strong tall 6 feet tall so one day i was seeing uh, uh, one of my friend going uh, with a german girl outside so then i asked oh nice i saw you with that girl so then i asked oh she is your friend then he said only till there <laughs> i said why what happened why 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 only friend i mean i was just taunting him i said you can make her your girlfriend <laughs> you can also enjoy you can also do things now which people do these days so and who is going to ask you here right you are in germany and nobody is going to ask you but he said no allah does not permit that i will not do that i will not indulge in illicit sex that is prohibited in the quran and when that is prohibited it means i should not do it which means if i do it it will give me suffering pain sorrow misery unhappiness in my life yes so even if i have all the reasons to do it i am beautiful she is beautiful but still i will not do it because allah doesn't like it yes so when you sacrifice something even when you can indulge in it yes and it is the same with wine also i have seen them yeah one or two people drink but i am speaking of those who don't drink okay i have asked them why why don't you drink what's the problem and then they are like no this is haram we will not take this so i was like fantastic this is this is called integrity when you decide that you will not do something you will not do it so they are not only doing the do's they are also taking care of the don'ts yes so they are not only doing namaz properly which they should do they are also abstaining from those things which pull people down yes so these are two very important lessons which i have got the first lesson is of course arrange your life according to your spiritual practices suppose you know that you need to do this in the night then you must take out time and come early do not give excuses that oh today i went to this party na late ho gaya that is why i could not do the mantra it is not good to say like this because then we are not following uh, what we decided yes and then Uh, arrange the life according to that so if you know that some festival is coming like navratri or whatever it is whichever tradition you are connected to whatever you are following then if there are some invitations where things are done which is not in accordance with that uh, festival or which you should not be doing then it is best that we deny that yes because that is what differentiates us from a animal because animals they will have sex on the streets they will have sex with 20 people 30 uh, so sorry 20 30 now you have you have you seen dogs in the streets doing whatever they want <laughs> so we if we also become like that yes if we become like them then what's the difference there's no difference between humans and animals right and animals don't follow each other see animals don't follow 
Navratri, animals don't follow. Rosa, <laughs> yes. So, scriptures say that that is the one thing which distinguishes humans from animals. That we should be able to control our senses and focus on the higher authority. Yes. And as the Shrimad Bhagavatam, the crest jewel of all the Vedic literatures says, Oh my God, Bhagavatam says so many things. <laughs> which verse should I quote? Bhagavatam says, Janmadhyasya yato anvayadi taratas charthesu bhigya swarat tene brahmaridayadi kavaye muhyanti atasuraya. Muhyanti atasuraya. Tene brahmaridayadi kavaye. That this knowledge was given to the Adi Kavi, Lord Brahma, by Lord Vishnu himself. Yes. And what is Srimad Bhagavatam? Srimad Bhagavatam is the culmination of the Vedanta Sutra. Yes, it is the commentary to the Vedanta Sutra. Veda Anta means end of the Vedas, which means conclusion. And Sutra is that which is written in short. So, commentary to the Vedanta Sutra is the Srimad Bhagavatam. And Srimad Bhagavatam says, Yes, Lord Vishnu is Swarat. He is all independent. And he gave this divine knowledge to Adi Kavi. Who is that Adi Kavi? Lord Brahma himself. Yes. Janmadhyas se yaton vayad itaratas charthesu bhigya swarat tene brahma hridaya adi kavaye muhyanti yata suraya tejo vari mridam yatha vini mayo stri sargo mrisha dhamna svena nirasta kuhakam satyam param dhi mahi. The explanation is some, in some other video. Okay. <laughs> so basically the Shrimad Bhagavatam says that your prime goal in life should be to cultivate spiritual knowledge, to cultivate spiritual wisdom, all right? And that is what I have learned from the diligent practice of my Pakistani Muslim friends, okay? And now some of you may think I am speaking about Islam and then I am bringing Hinduism. What is this person doing? This person is mad. Whatever you want to think, you can think, all right? So that is it from my side. This is what I wanted to share. Arrange your life according to your spiritual practices. That should be the first priority. Everything else can wait. Everybody else can wait. Everything and everybody in this universe can wait. But our appointment with God cannot wait. Yes. That is what I have learned. And then follow the do's and also follow the don'ts. Abstain from what is not uh, allowed in the scriptures because that will not bring good to us. All right. So that is it from my side. If you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, then click the thumbs up and share it with some Indian or <laughs> Sri Lankan or Burmese Muslims or maybe some Indian Hindus or maybe some Hindus who are staying in Pakistan. All right. So and if you want a consultation, then approach me through my website. All right. That is it from my side. Lessons from my Pakistani Muslim friends. Okay. Until next time. Wish you good luck. Bye-bye. See you.